Hey guys, I was just uh, thinking about this whole, you know, the Israel-Palestine thing, you know, that little thing, it's a small thing, there's like a conflict, these guys don't like each other, you know, there's some deaths, it's very sad, it's terrible, and we should all hope it ends soon, like as soon as possible, and there's peace. But I was just thinking of uh, a metaphor and trying to think of like, it's so complex. Like, how do you create a metaphor for the situation? It's such a, you know, I'm not going to say it's like a once in a lifetime situation, like, I mean, once in history situation, but it's pretty close. But I've just been thinking like, what, what is this conflict like? And like, how, how do you metaphor metaphorize or metaphorize or put into metaphor what's happening there and I kind of think I thought of a metaphor now the way I think about it is the G the Jews or the Israelis they're kind of like this up-and-coming family they lived in like a nice house in a good neighborhood you know, they're doing well. Uh, then one day there's like a police raid on their house. Like one of their neighbors just like hates them. He's fucking crazy. And he calls a SWAT raid. Like he, he uh, you know, calls them like a bomb threat. And the police come in. They like shoot their dog. They like arrest them. The whole family's like has PTSD. They're crying. They're horrified. And this is like, you know, this is like World War Two, you know, the Germans come in, they kill them. So this family, you know, they have PTSD from from this horrible event, the SWAT raid, kind of like, you know, the Holocaust. So now they're like, oh, we got to move. Like, where are we going to go? So now they're they're trying to find, you know, where's a peaceful neighborhood. And they're like, you know, I grew up my whole life my grandfather we talk about this house my grandfather had and all the times my family had there and the bonfires and it was so beautiful oh my god like we've been talking about this house forever the house he lost you know he was kicked out he didn't pay taxes he was a little crazy you know the you know like the romans kicking them out so so they lost this house but they want it so bad they would kill for it and they're fucking freaked out about the neighborhood they live in because of the SWAT raid. So now, okay, they see, oh my God, my grandfather's house. It's like in this foreclosure auction and we can get it for like four grand. But, you know, the problem is there's this family living there and they're not like maintaining the house that well. It's kind of fucked up, but you know, it's their house. They love the house and their family owns like like, they have a brother next door. Like, their family bought up the whole block. It's like a family compound. And it's like, how are you going to come in and say that's your grandfather's house and, like, take it in a foreclosure auction from this family? But, you know, that's what they do. They, like, don't give a fuck. They're PTSD'd out. They're like, fuck it. We'll pay four grand for this house. We'll take it. And, uh, yeah, and so this family, you know, the family that was living there, one day this this new family comes in like with the, the sheriff and they're like, hey, th you know what? This is our house. Yeah, we got it. It's legally ours. You know, we got it in an auction. This was our grandfather's house. And the family that's living there is like, what the fuck? Like, this is our house. Like, we've been living here. Our family owns a whole block. Like, you can't just take this house. So there's this fight in the yard they're scrapping the police you know hold down the family that live there they're like get the fuck out and like all the neighbors come out they're like what what are you doing like you can't fuck you can't kick out our brother so like the people moving in they feel bad and they like don't they're like okay you can you guys can stay in the like basement unit for like just give us like a hundred bucks a month and we'll let you stay in the basement unit and it's like, it's fucked up, but like, you know, they have it now and it was their grandfather's house. And so, you know, they're relegated to the basement and like once a month, the dad in the basement, he comes out, he's drunk. He like kicks, 
kicks the dog of the family that moved in. He's like, fuck you. You took my house. Fuck you. He kicks their dog. He's like spitting at him. They're like, what the fuck? Like, you know, this is like, how are we supposed to live here? And the, the guy in the basement, he just wants his house back, which is reasonable. And they're just like going at it. And like, occasionally the neighbors, all the, the, the basement guy's family, they come out, they're drunk. They're like, fuck, trying to punch the guy who moved in. They're trying to, they're like, kids are pushing his daughter over. So the, the, the Jewish people, the, the people who moved in, they're like freaked out. They're like, damn, this family, they own the whole fucking block. And they're like pushing us around. They're like psychotic. Like, what are we going to do? Like, this is our house. This was our grandfather's house. Like, so they, they install like this crazy security system and they like wall off the whole basement unit. There's like one exit to get out. There's cameras all over it. You know, it's just getting like really tense. And uh, yeah, and then October 7th, you know, the guy in the basement unit who lost his house, he comes out and he just, he stabs their cat in the eye. And the cat, it's not a happy cat. It's fucking, it lost its eye. It's screaming. The whole family's crying upstairs. They're like, what the? Like, you're fucking psycho. Like, you stabbed our cat. Like, what are you trying to do? He's like, get out. Get out. Get out of the house. And, like, they're just, they're there with their bleeding cat. And they're like, what the fuck? Like, this has gone too far. So now they're just, they're fucking insane. You know, they're, they're riled up and they get uh, a tractor and they just start burying the bottom unit and trying to push that family out. And that's, that's where we are today. So that's basically the situation, and I think it's pretty accurate. And yeah, so you don't have to watch the news. You can you can skip it all and just uh, yeah, that's about a pretty good summary. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that because it's a uh, it's a quick summary. It makes sense. It's uh, not offensive. You know, Mazel Tov.